Okay, here's an updated video on the uh, Kessel experiment for the Chato growth. And uh, this is the uh, H80 Kessel. And it's actually, I replaced it, I had a, the, uh, the H380, the larger one, the 90 watt, on here for a few weeks, and uh, decided I didn't like that because of the amount of heat that it put out. Plus, it was 90 watts compared to this thing, which is a lot uh, less wattage, less power consumption. And I'm actually, I've had the, the the smaller H80 for about maybe three weeks, and it's it's just as good as the other light. Um, it might even be better, but maybe wishful thinking, but it's definitely continuing to grow and uh, the water polishing effect that it's having is, is actually quite a bit better than filter floss because it just it doesn't clog up my uh, it doesn't clog up the sump, which would be this baffle here when the, the filter floss would flock, would clog up it would lower the amount of water volume in, in this last chamber where the return pump is, which is Vectra L1. That uh, the eye back there would sense that the water level is lower, and then dump a bunch of fresh water, uh, RODI water back into the system, and then cause the uh, the skimmer to overflow and just a vicious cycle every five days. So I haven't had to do anything. Um, since I put Chato in here and removed the filter floss, it's been a month and a half or so with the same, if not better, polishing effect with the floss head because it's flowing through the Chato. And I added 10,000 couple pods about four days ago, and they're, they're all over the place. You're not going to be able to see them. With this camera, but... Anyway, so the experiment is uh, successful, whereas um, it's a good bed for the cobopods and other critters to populate safely, um, and the long-term polishing effect. And uh, I haven't really noticed too much of a pH stability, uh, either plus or minus. It's the same as it was before this. And uh, as far as the allergy out competing with the, the display, I honestly can't tell any difference. But it's pretty cool, so I'm going to keep it like this. I am running GFO, and which is uh, Row of Foz, and then Kimmy Pure Elite in a dual chamber reactor. And uh, as well as I've got a, a, a bag of Kimmy Pure in the, in the middle baffle here. Uh, but overall, the glass stays pretty clean. Don't I don't have to scrape the glass quite as quite as much. I, I really can't tell. But if you're going to do this for the sole purpose of trying to keep algae out of your display, you're probably better off just running a good GFO. Um, but if you want kind of a water polishing effect, and, and maybe this will stabilize your pH. At, um, I'm not sure, but. At least my apex is telling me it's pretty consistent, even you know before. And I'm doing a reverse cycle, so 12 hours um, of light with the display, and this is off, and then in reverse, when the display lights go off, the uh, the fuse light turns on, it stays on overnight. And this thing doesn't really put any heat out, which is good. Uh, unlike that H380, that thing was would put out quite a bit of heat, and then I would. It would raise my my temperature, and then my fan would come on, and then more water would evaporate. So this is a good happy medium, 150 bucks, and I just put the the larger gooseneck on there, um, so I can kind of position this. It looks a little better. So that's it. All right, thanks.